Revising Atoms and Elements, Part 4. What is a chemical reaction? Okay, so chemical reactions happen when two things are mixed together and you get something new at the end of it. You don't always have a chemical reaction when you mix stuff together. For example, some marbles in my beaker and I'm going to mix in some water. As you can see, nothing's happening. The marbles are staying marbles, the water's staying water. And in fact, it's quite easy to get the water back out again. Okay, so that wasn't a chemical reaction because nothing changed. But what if we look at something that is changing? Here, I've got some ice. I just got it out of the freezer, put it in my beaker. And I'm now going to let that warm up to room temperature. Okay, so that's had a while to warm up, and as you can see, it's changing. Some of it's not a solid anymore. Some of it has now changed into a liquid. So is that a chemical reaction? Actually, it's not a chemical reaction because the material is still the same. It's still water. If I broke the ice up into its smallest molecules, there'd still be H2O. And if I took the water and broke that into its smallest molecules, that would be H2O. On a molecular level, no change has happened. That's not a chemical reaction. Okay, so this third example is a chemical reaction. Attached to my stand here, I have a strip of magnesium, and I'm going to cause it to chemically react with the oxygen in the air by adding some heat to the situation. And there it goes. Now as you can see it took a long time to start that off, but once it got going it's really really going. And that's because it's an exothermic reaction. As it reacts with the oxygen in the air, it actually releases a lot of heat, much much more heat than I got from the matches. And that then started the next bit reacting and the next bit and the next bit. So exothermic reactions release heat. The opposite of exothermic reactions are endothermic reactions. Now if I have a look at what's left here, well it's still a solid like the magnesium, but it's definitely not the same material. Whereas the magnesium was hard and bendy, this is very, very delicate. It's just breaking apart in my hands. What's happened is that the magnesium has actually attached itself to the oxygen in the air and created an entirely new material called magnesium oxide. In a chemical reaction, you have reactants and products. The reactants are your original ingredients, the things that are going to react together. So the reactants in this chemical reaction was the magnesium and the oxygen. The product is the thing you're left with at the end, in this case, magnesium oxide. End of part four.